Hello, hello, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sharifa, also known as Sharifa Samora, and I am so excited that you are here today. So if you love good reviews on luxury handbags, actually luxury everything, skincare, ready to wear, you name it, do not forget to hit subscribe on my channel, hit that like button. I would love to make more videos and I would like it if you join me on that journey. Also, if you would like to know what I'm doing on a daily basis and more snip snatch of my daily life, outfit shares, life as a mom of three, please do not forget to follow along on Instagram, sometimes I'm also on TikTok, or I do Facebook from time to time, all under the same handle. I would love you to join that community over there as well. It, I promise you, it's never boring, it will be a lot of fun. So what are we going to talk about today? Today's video will be a quick first impressions, two, three months review on the Bottega Veneta padded cassette bag. So um, I bought one a few months ago. Actually, I got huge FOMO because of the price increases. I mean, all these luxury brands are increasing their handbag prices. Like what is going on? Um, I've been crushing on the padded cassette for a while right now. I have a friend who bought a black one and when I saw her wearing it, I was like, oh my God, what is this bag? I really, really, really like this bag. I want this bag. Even then, I think it had one or two price increases already. Also, I'm in Canada, so the prices are a little bit more steep over here and then we have to like account tax on top of that. So yeah, I kind of, you know, it was in the back of my mind and then, you know, following along on purse form and all these other luxury blogging places where we hang and there was a price increase coming up. I was like, no, I need to get the bag now. Fast forward, I've ordered it from Italist. I am extremely happy with my bag, but there are some things. So I just wanted to do like a quick review first impressions so let's grab the bag shall we so we are going to talk about the bottega Veneta padded cassette in the color barolo or bordeaux who i like i love to call it. the name is barolo this is dark reddish bordeaux like color um, i fell in love with this color um i was on the hunt for like this color kind of bag i've always wanted a more bordeaux kind of bag um i love bottega at least I love this model and I also love their older hobo and I love that this one is padded. So got this one in a normal size and uh, ordered it from Italis. Came in like perfectly new with cards and everything. Just in a normal box, so not the green Bottega box with this dust bag. So this is how I received it from Italis. Italis is a very good online retailer but I have read the downside of it is when you want to return items. So I hardly return items to be completely honest, unless the sizing is really off. It does, it may not seem like that, but I do like extensive research before I buy something. And um, when I buy it, I just kind of know I want it. It's like this. Yes, I have a never ending want list, never ending wish list, but uh, it needs to make my heart sing or otherwise I'm not doing it. Like if I have like a little bit of doubt, I will not buy something. And um, this one, I was thinking about it for over a year. I couldn't actually decide on a color because I did like black as well, but I have a ton of black bags. So I thought like, oh, maybe red or maybe Bordeaux. And I just, when I saw this color, I was like, okay, this is amazing. Pairs well with my uh, Max Mara Teddy coat in the more brown hues I have. I've mentioned before, I'm not really a girl that wears those kind of colors, but if I have it, I need a bag with it. So this is perfect for that. So the pricing, I feel the pricing of this bag is all over the place. I do not know what the current price is. Even if I add it here, it, it, it's just different. Like the only thing I know, it's more affordable on Italist. It is more affordable in Europe, but still the prices are, are like steep. I think it started $2,000 less than what it's now in Canadian dollars. So that is insane. I mean, price hikes are insane. I still don't know how brands can justify all these price hikes and those ones that stop buying, we will not stop buying. That heads like that is perfectly clear that we will still continue to buy these bags. So, you know, deal with it, unfortunately. <laughs> so yeah, first impression. So as I said, I really, really love 
their design, like their like the classic Bottega way of the woven details over here. I really like that. Downside is the button, and this is something I've read about as well. It's just a little bit annoying to open it. So I'm opening it like I have to like exactly. <laughs> So I'm gonna put it down and try to open it. So the downside immediately is how to open this bag. So I hold it and this is like the gold buttons over here, but it's a little bit like, it's like you have to like put, this has to like go into that. It's, it's a little bit annoying, but this is what the flap looks like. I mean, I love how padded it is. I really like it. And then let's go to the interior. I will actually write down all the sizes over here. I normally do that in my, uh, refuse so I will put down what the sizing is but I just wanted to quickly chat on the interior before so other thing that I noticed it is padded it seems like you have a lot of space but you don't so when I open it this is what's in my bag I don't know if you guys can see it that well so I'm a sunglasses girl it's really hard to put my sunglasses in it like it will not fit so if I add my sunglasses it will probably be without a case and I have to wrap something around it so I will probably not where are my sunglasses? So, currently what's in my bag. So I'm gonna take everything out and then I will show you what how the interior looks like. I have my AirPods, house keys, lip gloss, iPhone 13 Pro Max, Chanel card holder, and Chanel hand cream. So, and now it is empty, except I just left the authenticity card in it. I always do that, I don't know why, but like it's in it. So, okay, let's go to the compartments. So you have the main compartment over here. This is where I put most of my things. Then you have another compartment with a zipper over there. This is where the authenticity card is still in. And then you have this back compartment over here as well. So this is basically, the back and then the straps can you remove them no you cannot remove them you have the straps you see it on the side the straps inside here as well so I'm gonna put everything back in it so as I mentioned I do not find it that spacious that's like definitely a con so the material of this bag is lambskin 100% lambskin bonded lambskin in the lining the hardware is gold finish and then it's 18 centimeters height the weight is 26 centimeters and the depth is 8 centimeters so I will put down the centimeters and the inches and the strap drop is 50 centimeters which is ideal for crossbody this is how I wear it actually I wear it crossbody a lot you can like play around with the strap as well let me show you guys you can everything back in the back, close it. Like closing the back is just such a hassle. But yeah, let's talk about the strap. So this is the strap and it has this little, what is it? Like Bottega logo or triangle over here. This is how you recognize that you have a real one because there are counterfeits on the market, which I hate, but still didn't stop me from buying this bag. But like you can change the straps. I haven't done it at all. I also like storage it with the strap inside. So sometimes the strap looks a little bit like ugly when I take it out. And that might be like one of my cons for sure. I find the strap very simple for the price of this bag. So would I want to have a chain because you have the one with the chain? No, because that one gets heavy, but still like there's something with the strap that I find a little bit off, but didn't stop me from buying it. So this is the strap. And when it comes to the leather, yeah, it's lambskin. I was always very scared of lambskin, but actually I'm embracing it more. I just, you know, stuff my bags, not too much. Be careful with scratching, but I do feel it looks good after a few months wear and tear. Um, how often do I grab for this bag? So this is, do I think it is worth it to buy the Bottega padded cassette for the price that it is right now? So I cannot, determine what your budget is for a bag, but I would not pay the current price for this bag simply because um, I would actually go for the other one, like the, the Hobo. It just, you know, I think it's over $5,000 Canadian right now. 
and I feel it's just too much for this bag. I think that they're, when it first came out, it was around 3,000 Canadian dollars. Still a lot of money, don't get me wrong. But that is like a better price than what it is right now. Still steep, but I get it. It was like a nice new model. That's something I, I think it's more reasonable for what you're getting. Um, some people say it's a trendy bag. I do not tend to go with trends. Yes, you see it everywhere, but I would still wear it like five years down the road. I would still wear this cassette because I just like it as padded. I just like it has the Bottega Veneta, like, you know, the interwoven thing going on. So definitely, yes, it's trendy right now, but I would definitely still wear it. I bought like a vintage Bottega. I will put the picture down here, which I wear a lot, like an amazing hobo and um, I think that one is so old, I still wear it. So I love this bag, it's a great one, but if you are not in Europe, I would say no, do not buy it. If you are in Europe and you have a chance, get it, but not in this part of the world. In North America, I just find it way, like I find it too expensive. And even the differences, I think the difference is that what I pay for it, I have to look back, but the difference was over $2,000 for sure. Um, I think I got it for the older price just before the price increases from Italy, and it was brand new, it was packaged, like it, it was just like a new bag. So Bottega, amazing. When you go to Europe, do not buy it in North America. Um, I love this color. Downside of this color is I do feel it's really a fall color, winter color. I cannot see myself wearing this during the summer. I think I will just, you know, be stored during the summer. And another, like a lot of people take this from nine to five, probably because it's their style, it's a little bit more etchy for me. I do not find it a real dinner bag, not for my style. Like for my friend, it totally works because she has this cool, classy, etchy style. And with her, like it's beautiful when she wear it, wears it. I'm not that, I'm more feminine, like super, super girly feminine. So for the evenings, I would not opt for this bag, but I do find it amazing. Um, to wear it like crossbody during the day or for lunch with my friends. This is an amazing bag for that. But like in the evenings, it's, it would not be my style. Again, I love this color. I haven't seen as many in this color. I see them more in black or in gray. Gray is something I, I was thinking about as well, but my other Bottega bag is gray. So uh, yeah, first impressions, the letter is like super, super soft, beautiful letter, beautifully done. There is not enough space, so that would be like a little bit of a con. I do not find the strap that perfectly, but it didn't stop me from buying. So at a, a more affordable price point or in Europe, definitely a must go. So let me know, do you have this Bottega Veneta padded cassette bag? Do you like it? Do you have it with the chains or without the chains? Um, any more questions? Do you want me to compare it with another bag? Do let me know. Leave your comments uh, in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching my video today. I do hope you enjoyed it. I will do more reviews. Um, if you have seen me with something on Instagram or if you have questions, please drop a comment what kind of video you want me to make next. Thank you so much for watching and until the next time, bye bye.